Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. Today I'm going to show you how to build this red coder. What is a red coder, you ask? Well, it is a redstone machine that will light up a single line depending on the signal strength being detected by a comparator. Okay, so we're going to use this right here, this arrow. If we see it's in position one, which is kind of goes off at this angle, I flip it, it goes to position two, and instead of lighting both torches, it flipped to the next one. So basically it'll flip all the way down the line, and that way you can determine a very specific signal to do different operations in your redstone machines. Okay, so let me show you how to build this. For this example, we're going to use the item frame that holds an arrow. Okay, so we're going to put a block up right here, and we're going to put an item frame and an arrow into that. Then we're going to put a block and this block is going to have a comparator on top and this comparator is checking the signal here and it'll give out between one and eight signal strength depending on what it is now we're going to put a block on top of that right there that's going into this block powering that block and then out of this we're going to go eight out and we're going to have redstone dust okay and you can see this is the first one is lit because the arrow is in position one if we go to position let's say two three four and you can see there are one, two, three, four are lit, and the rest are not, okay? So now, what you need to do is take a target block and put it, like, right there along the side, okay? And then put torches on the side of the target blocks. And you can see they're all on, but those the signal strengths that are on over here are inverted by the torch and turned off, okay? And then you want to put a block on top of those, just like that, and torches on top of the block. And this torch up here on top of the block is the output signal. Okay, so as we change signal strengths here, let's go back to here. One, you can see there's only one lit. Now there are two lit. Now there are three lit. And that's kind of what we want, but we all want only one torch to be lit. Okay, so that is where this next step comes in. What we're going to do is we're going to basically subtract a signal strength out of this. So we'll put a block here and we'll put a redstone dust. So basically now these two are equivalent length, but when we put this one into here it'll be actually one less okay so what you want to do is you want to have repeaters on top of all of these target blocks okay and then what you want to do is you want to have a block going into those so you do that okay and then you want a block facing right here off of this redstone dust okay and then you want to put redstone dust on top of all of this okay now there you can see that they're all lit up because it's on lit number eight. If we go to one, you see the first one's lit, second one's lit, third one's lit, and that's how this thing works. Now, because of the fact that this is lit from the bottom, but it has a secondary path where it goes through this top line, if the block here gets powered, it is powered, okay? Or I should say, if it's not powered by anything, it is powered. So here it's not powered by the repeater, nor is it powered by the torch, so it turns it on. If we go to the second position here, okay, you can see that both of these are not powered, but this one is powered. So it's powered into here, which turns it off, but all of these are not powered. So that's basically the idea of this for a red coder. Now we have a signal that tells us which position is precisely this is, okay? This also works with uh, chests that have uh, items in it, and you can go up the signal strength of 14 or so. You can also work this with lecterns looking at the pages of a book. This is a great tool. Now you know how to make a red coder, and I hope that this works in your redstone machines just as well as it works for mine. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. Okay, guys, thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.